Today I've got two new guitars from Fender, relatively new. They're both blue. Are they the right ones for you? Stick a roo. No, I gotta say, okay. How's it going guys? This is Cooper Greenberg here at Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and uh, like and comment on our videos. Check out the description below for our spring store, a bunch of cool new t-shirts, and uh, check out our Patreon and become an Alamo Music Insider because that's what the cool viewers are doing. So like I said, today I got two guitars from Fender. They are both Daphne Blue, um, and I don't know if you can really tell. I think these are kind of different, and that's not what we're talking about. I'm talking about the difference between these two lines, we got the Noventa Stratocaster and we got the Ventera 50s modified Stratocaster. Um, but yeah, they're both supposed to, supposed to be Daphne Blue and I think that there's some kind of hue difference here um, amongst other things. So I wanted to do this video because when we did the original no Noventa kind of rundown of the line when they first came out, we did not have the Stratocasters in. We were given the Telecaster and the Jazzmaster didn't have the Strat, so I think it's worth it to kind of take a look on this, um, at this guitar on its own, and just kind of run down what's going on here, but also compare it to something that is the same exact price from a very different, differently minded kind of line from Fender. Um, so I'm gonna start off talking about the Noventa, and then we'll get to the Ventera. Um, Noventa means 90. I've said that on the channel before, but even when I make jokes about it, you like to remind me that it is a, uh, it's a real word and it's Spanish for 90 and it's because there are P90s in this guitar. I think that's a cool thing. I think that, you know, P90s are somewhat of an underrated pickup. They are single coils, if you didn't know, so they look, you know, fatter and bigger than the typical Fender single coil like Strat pickup, but they're still single coils. They're just a little flattened, a little more wide and give sort of a different tonality while still keeping the beautiful bell-like chime of a single coil um, and not really having the humbucker kind of muddiness, especially at low levels or, you know, um, I think they're just kind of nice in between, get the fatness, but still get the chime and the cut through. So that's kind of what I think the whole Noventa line is paying tribute to is how cool P90s are. Um, Telecaster has one P90, Jazzmaster has three, Stratocaster has two. And it also kind of has this sort of modern aesthetic. It does not have a skunk stripe on the maple neck, and it's got a three-way toggle where the you know five-way switch would be on a normal Strat. All you got is volume and tone. Keep it super simple, and uh, they're just cool guitars. I think they've kind of flown under the radar even though they're relatively new. Um, I really liked playing on the Jazzmaster, and so I was looking forward to getting these Strats in. And they're just, they sound great. I really like them. I'll compare them, you know, when you hear the demos, I'll tell you what I'm hearing. But before we do the demos, I uh, figured we'd check out the other one that we're comparing today. This is from the Ventera line. Now we've done a ton on the Venteras. There's the regular Ventera line, 50s, 60s, 70s. And there is also now, from this year, the road-worn Ventera line. This is just regular standard, no wearing kind of how I prefer them, uh, so you can wear them or not on your own. You don't have to worry about, you know, some machine that took a hammer to your guitar a bunch of times to make it look like it's old. And it's got the nice satin finished neck that is not road-worn. I prefer that as well, even though the nitro neck on, you know, the road-worn, they feel great. Um, but this is just a nice, almost reminds me of the Ultra line and the American Pro line. It's just a nice satin. So um, this has hot 50s Strat pickups in it. They're just the regular single coils. They sound really great. And it does have, since it's the 50s modified, not just the Ventera 50s modified, bringing some kind of more modern features into a very vintage era Ventera, vintage minded guitar um, modified you get an S1 switch in the volume knob. So that S1 switch, as you'll see in the demos, when you're working your way from the fifth position all the way down in your second and first position, it adds the neck pickup in. So that is the brilliant way that they have streamlined the S1 switching before there were so many different options. And now I think all through American Pro 2, Ultra, um, Ultra Lux, 
I'm pretty sure the S1 switch on all the strats does the same thing. Brings that neck pickup down into the bridge and bridge middle positions. So you can have either all three pickups or just the outside two. It's a nice little feature to have. It's a really good tone that I think everybody should play around with. And, um, you know, like I said, otherwise very similar. It does have a skunk stripe aesthetic difference between these two, not gonna do much for your tone. Both of them have these vintage style tuning, not, um, uh, tuning machines. And uh, this is a one ply pit guard. There's a three ply on the Noventa. This one ply sticking with the 50s aesthetic. And it's great. Um, also, I should mention, I'm not gonna be playing with a whammy bar, vibrato, tremolo system, whatever you wanna call it. This one does have a two point trem the Noventa is just a hardtail bridge. So there's no um, tremolo vibrato that you can add on that guitar, which is fine because I don't do either of those um, ever. I like to keep it hardtail, even with a trem system, that's personal preference. But if you're looking into these, um, you're not gonna find that on the Noventa Strat. So be forewarned. Um, I'm gonna play a little bit on both of these, just some clean tones through all the pickups. And what I will ask you to do is just kind of keep in mind the differences as you kind of hear back and forth um, and just pick up on how those P90s really react to harder attack, softer attack versus what we kind of know as a standard Stratocaster. Again, this, these are 50s voiced, so that kind of informs their tone to a certain degree. But think of these as just classic single coils versus P90s. Take note of these tonal differences because I think that they are pretty, uh, pretty glaring. And then I'll kind of tell you what I think. So take a listen. Here we go.
So there you have it, you guys, a little bit of the Noventa Stratocaster versus the Ventera 50s modified Stratocaster. There's a lot more in the Ventera line that we could compare these two. To be completely honest, I chose them because they are both maple fretboards. We got a lot of rosewood um, and, you know, or Palfero um, in the Ventera area that we could have compared it to, but I saw the comments coming. I had to go maple, and it just so happened that they were both the same color. They're different. I promise I'm looking at them right now. But either way, um, I think it's a worthy comparison because besides the player series um, from the Mexican factory, there's a lot of other electric guitars that they make there. And when it comes down to it, these are, you know, there's different ones within Ventera. The 50s modified and the Noventa Strat are the same exact price. They're, I think, $10.99, um, which, you know, we've mentioned it a lot. That's kind of going up for, you know, Mexican-made fenders. However, uh, you know, inflation's sending everything up, so all the Americans are going up too. All the Chinese stuff is going up too. Um, the Mexican-made fenders are just fantastic guitars. And so outside of the player series, which is kind of what we recommend all the time to people that really kind of want to take that jump into electric guitar, um, there are so many options within Fender's lineup that don't have to be made in Corona, California for them to be great guitars. They're taking some of the more desirable things from those American guitars and putting them on all these. So satin finish on these necks feels really, really great. Pickups are just really high quality. They sound awesome. The bodies feel great. And, you know, just the setups, the fret work, um, you know, sometimes you do this which I'm not trying to be... Okay, anyway, sometimes you do this on a neck and your fingers get all cut up and it's really uncomfortable. So the fret work on here, the detail work, everything feels really great. And so that's kind of lesson number one here. Lesson number two is the Noventa line is awesome. And based on the demos, now you've heard them, I feel like these pickups have more clarity, uh, just more punch, more kind of everything that you want, even though they're not the single coils from just a standard Stratocaster 50s, 60s, or 70s, whichever one it is, um, I found, and I'm sure that you could hear, there's a lot more output coming from these. Um, you know, we got it going through the Hot Rod Deluxe, EQs all right up the middle, a little bit of reverb, the volume was exactly the same. And so starting with the Noventa, and then kind of like hearing all that clarity, very bell-like, warm, rounded tone, really nice, and a lot of articulation. It was almost kind of deflated for me when it went to the Ventera. Um, I'm not saying that this would cover everything that great because, you know, that is more of a classic Strat tone with the Ventera. You know, arguably, it's really the kind of basis for all the Strat tones that we hear through player series and other eras, everything is kind of based on that original 50s Strat single coil tone. So it's hard to argue with the classic, but I do think that the Noventa deserves its uh, kind of spotlight for a little bit because they're really versatile pickups. They sound super great and they will take pedals great. They will cover all those single coil sounds with just a little added you know, extra bass and sort of this nice mellowness that, you know, those especially 50s are kind of tinny and brittle at some points. So I think these are really great pickups. And I will also say that if you have the chance, check out other Venteras, check out the road-worn and non-road-worn, the modified and not modified, because like personally, I've loved the 60s modified Stratocaster, Olympic White, I think that's a great guitar. Um, but these, you know, felt like the easiest to compare for me. I think they're both great. And you don't have to go into the American factory to get something that's a super high quality build that you can customize, that you can play over time, wear in, it's gonna be better and better. Feel on your body as a player, the neck's gonna wear in great. Um, I think that the Mexican factory is doing all kinds of great stuff. And it's cool that they have extended these guitars from 
just the player series, you have a lot to choose from. Um, I don't know how long the Noventas are going to be around. I don't know if they're going to become a permanent part of the lineup or if they're just kind of limited. You know, you can see the 75th anniversary kind of decal on the back of this headstock. It could be a limited thing or they could be around for a long time. But if you have the opportunity and they are limited, um, just try one of these. Try the Jazzmaster, try the Telecaster because they're both great too. Um, and, you know, just put your hands on one, see what P90s can kind of do for your sound, how they inspire you to play a little differently or dig in in some places that you wouldn't on uh, just regular single coils. Um, these are underrated guitars, and I highly recommend them to anybody. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys think, so please comment below which one you prefer. If you think P90s on a Strat are completely sacrilegious, I get that. Um, or if you think that these kind of give those hot 50s pickups a run for their money. Um, and, you know, let us know what you like more. If you have another Ventera that you think is better than the 50s, I'd like to hear that too. Maybe we can do another comparison. Um, and if you want to see Noventa Tele or Noventa Jazzmaster versus their Ventera kind of companion, I'd love to do those as well. So maybe you'll see those in the future. Um, but if you want to see those, easiest way to get notified is to subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, and uh, you know just keep an eye out. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers. Going to do some giveaways. Going to make it a much bigger deal than it actually is because it's a big deal to us. We appreciate you guys watching. Um, so yeah, we'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.